100.9, the Creek Row Music Rail Radio, Creekside Morning. Tony Doolin, and Charles Davis. That is great peacock heartbreak coming down. Yeah. It is Monday, which means we have our weekly segment with Alex Von Coydel. Do we have to do of the this? Make and Mayhem? We are required by, by law, law to play this intro. Wow, what here we go. Mean? Alex Von Coydel, the voice. From Alex Von Coydel, the voice. Voice. From Alex Von Coydel, the voice. 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 Alex Von Coydel, my fighter. By the way, Alex yeah. plays that during intimate love moments. No, I wouldn't say that. He does. He I plays wouldn't that. say that. I I would leave that alone. Just you know, <laughs> yeah. Just don't even answer that, Alex. Just let let it's it be. Out of the bathroom it, wearing let nothing it, but a silk let, bathrobe. Let it go. I got Alex. some fresh cologne on and just, fires that is it up. Draco from New Orleans. Is that voice. anywhere else or just cool water? Here I am. Voice. What is that? Voice. You know, voice. 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 Is it velvet like a Hugh Hefner robe? Alex von Coydel, my fighter. Very sorry. uncomfortable for I'm all sorry, parties involved. I'm sorry, Alex. I didn't Why would you to... paint that picture for uh, Well, he did that. Well, you know, that's what we do. Theater of the mind, Alex. Yeah. Charles, you're always full of the best advice. I'm try- I tried, Alex. I tried. Morning, <laughs> Alex. How are you? I'm, I'm kind of weirded out. <laughs> As you should be. Did you have a good Thanksgiving? Yeah, I did. My mom and brother made it in from Chicago. Oh, good. It was great, great seeing them, catching up with them. My brother's actually still here till tomorrow. So okay. yeah, after work today, we're going to try to to hang out one last time before he has to go back home. The Von Coydles brothers. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mm-hmm. jump over to uh, Jared Cup. Good morning, sir. Good morning. How, How are, are you? We? Good. I'm doing well. Thank I want to ask a Thanksgiving-related question because uh, Macon locally doesn't uh, doesn't produce a lot of local hockey players. All you guys are from out of town. What do you do on the holidays? Where are you from, first of all? Um, well, I grew up two hours north of Toronto in a small okay, town. Okay, so called. you're Canadian. You don't celebrate yeah. Thanksgiving. Well, in October, but... Yeah. <laughs> it's an October, it's a different but thing. Whatever. But it's got to be tough being away from family during holidays and things like that. Christmas um, yeah, is coming up. Definitely during Christmas, but, uh, you know, like Thanksgiving and stuff, I was never a big Thanksgiving or Easter. I know Easter is pretty big down here, but other than Christmas back home, I think that's the that's the main holiday for us. You guys had a, uh, had a game Wednesday night. Mm-hmm. Uh, which always makes for an interesting Thursday, yeah. a Wednesday night game. Give us the uh, recap on what happened there, Alex. Yeah, well, um, last year in that building down in Pensacola, we uh, played there four times and didn't win any of them. So that's a really tough barn to play in. They're undefeated at home um, this season. Um, and we scored more goals uh, in one game this year than we did in four games last year there. So that's the good news. Um, unfortunately, uh, they uh, they came out with a really good effort in the third period. Um, and they, they kind of skated away with the, I think it was 5-3. They got an empty netter at the end there. But I was going to um, say empty netters uh, Wednesday and Saturday. Yeah. Uh, kind of made the score a little more lopsided than it would have been. Absolutely. Yeah. It made the score look, you know, more like more daunting than it really was, yeah. I think. Yeah. yeah. But, um, yeah, both both games were a, a great effort by, by our team. And uh, Saturday night we had a, a lead twice, and um, they just, you know, they did the same thing we did on Wednesday. They just kept fighting back, and they tied the game several times, and um, just ended up pulling ahead. I think early in the third period on mm. Saturday night, and but a lot of really good uh, shots on goal. Mm-hmm. It just seemed like they were missed it by that much. Both their goalies were uh, NHL draft picks. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, that makes sense. They've, yeah, they've uh, had really good goaltending this season, and um, they just don't. They never give up a lot of goals. Last yeah. year, last year it was the same story. It's hard to score against them and get get good opportunities and again came down to the same situation saturday night where we uh you know we were trying to tie the game up there in the last little bit pull mm-hmm. the goalie out six on five ended up with an empty netter which made again the score look a little more lopsided than it probably should have been yeah exactly and those empty net situations like um you know leo talked about it a little bit when he was here and and i've asked you know coach michael about it as well and they both kind of told me the same thing it's hard to squeeze those into practice when you're on yeah. the, the six on five like yeah. those situations happen so often now and in practices it's just you know there's so many other things you need to work on that there's not always time to practice the six on five very true all right so uh, tell us about this week's games we have an away game and a home game mm-hmm. it's gonna be a tough one we're in evansville on friday night a lot um, of travel is, man yeah if you guys aren't familiar with where that is that's southern indiana that's the mm. midwest so it's a long yeah. trip i'd say what cover probably 11 12 hours up there wow I think it's like eight that's it? I don't know. Okay. I thought <laughs> I thought Peoria was 14. He sleeps for three hours of the trip. It's an 11-hour yeah. trip. Yeah, He's no. only awake for eight <laughs> yeah. of it, though. Yeah, exactly. It wouldn't be that many. There's no way. <laughs> but that's a lot but, of travel yeah, for a yeah. Friday, Saturday. So, and then, yeah, we come back um, and then host uh, Fayetteville, who's been really good this year. Um, they've gotten off to a great start. We host them Saturday night. It's uh, our teacher appreciation night, $10 entry for, for teachers. Yeah, the look game. at that. So, now, mm-hmm. how, do you, uh, how do you vet that? 
at the box office? Do they have show like teacher ID or how does that work? There are, t- I think it's like a, a county ID or, yeah. All right. Okay. That's how it show is. Show up at the box yeah. office with a nervous tick. Oh, you teach elementary school. $10 yes. ticket. Yeah, just let That's them, the way that works. Some of them kindergarten teachers let them in free. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> That's, by the way, is not the case. I don't want to. Okay. Don't want to yeah. throw that out okay. there, Charles. Okay. I'm, I'm just saying. <laughs> Jared, you've been on the show it before. Be Welcome there. back. It's good to be back. It's good to see you. Um, tell us about what you do for the team. What is your position? Um, so I play defense. Uh, I guess one of my roles, I guess uh, I'm a second-year guy. We only have a few more second-year guys on the back end, so it's just myself, uh, Zach Urban, who's not here with us right now, and Larry Smith. So with Zach gone, you know, Larry and I are looking to step up as leaders, so that's kind of a role that him and I are uh, learning together and trying to be – you know, get better at each and every day. So that's one of the roles that I think I uh, exemplify, I guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's... I'll give you that. Mm-hmm. I'll give you that. I'll take that, take that <laughs> but answer. You, you said something very interesting. One of the only very few second year members of the Mayhem because we have had a lot of turnover in yeah. the team. Yeah, uh, especially defensively, though. We're just we're so, you know, banged up back there. Like, uh, you know, uh, Rennie Hunter's situation going back home to Manitoba. And then yeah. Zach Urban, like like Cupper just said, going up to the ECHL. And Nick Minerva, who's also a second-year defenseman, he went up to Wheeling earlier this season. So we've lost a lot of defensemen. Yeah. And uh, Jarrett's done a great job stepping up as one of the leaders back there. And he's been on a nice little point streak here as well. I think he's got a point in six straight. So okay, no. He's been on a roll. And, there we go. Yeah, and him and Larry, those guys are both really stepping up as leaders, um, and they've had to, being the only uh, two second-year guys left yeah. on the blue line. Um, and then, you know, Ryan Devine, also a veteran. Um, he's just had uh, he's had a couple suspensions here in the past few games, so we've been really shorthanded back there. Um, Jared, I want to ask a couple of personal questions. Uh, one that we have not been addressing this year, favorite hockey movie of all time, Miracle, Goon, or Slapshot? I'll have to go with Slapshot for that one. I think this list is flawed, and I will go ahead and make my make my um, my my stance here once again. My protest here. I believe Mighty Duck should be nope. on this list, but whatever. <laughs> okay, but you're wrong, though. You're wrong, Charles. Uh, Slapshot was not the correct answer, by the way. It was Goon. But thank you for playing. Has anyone said Goon yet? No. Nope. No. I still. I'm still holding. Which out it hope. should be pulled it's off like, the it's, list. It's everybody's second favorite. I feel like, including yeah. including mine. You're probably but, right. Yeah. I'm an odd bird, though. I'm going to say it's still the correct answer. Second question, Jared. Um, being in hockey and having the last name Cup, did that lead to some jokes when you were young, some nicknames? I'm just asking. Did I bring up some bad memories? You might have just triggered the man. And I, Why would you do that? <laughs> did you often get, no, get I, told I never... you're very athletic, Cup? Oh, Did wow. Did that happen? <laughs> wow. I mean, yeah. Like, I've been working even, on this since last year, wow. by the way. I've like, been even, waiting even on Even this. my dad calls me Cup. He doesn't use my first name. Yeah. So, like, it's not just my Ooh. hockey buddies that call me Cup or Cupper. You know, mm-hmm. my dad calls me it. My mom's wow. always on his case saying, you know, he's, like, <laughs> he, he's got a first name, you know. But uh, I was no. never made fun of for the name. Uh, Although there was a point in time where I think my mom wanted to name me Stanley Cup, which would have just not. Oh gone well, Ooh. that would have been. <laughs> that's wow, the most, that's the most Canadian name I've ever heard. <laughs> and I was going to say you're up in God, Canada. I so, so hope your mom listens to this show because I want to give a shout out to Mama Cup. Mama that Cup, is brilliant. <laughs> um, but I bet just Canadians are just much nicer. So you didn't get the. Had you been down here in, in, in Atlanta or the South Georgia. Yeah, you'd have heard some things. Yeah, you'd have heard some just, things. Oh, I'm uh, thinking about it now. And it's Well, does anybody know what the Stanley Cup is down here? <laughs> well, we do, but... <laughs> three it's people. Only, it's only three, because of TV. Three people who were listening got that joke. You know, the, yeah, one, right. the one Atlanta hockey team we had here for a while just didn't. No, oh, it was bad. Little Brothers. Oh, right. It was bad. Yeah. Yeah. It's getting better. It's getting better, Jared. It's getting better. Do you have little brothers named Calder and Kelly? <laughs> yeah, right. Ah! Presidents. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> wow. Solo. So, uh... <laughs> See, this is the most I've got made fun of for my last name, I think, now. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Oh, give us a little bit of time, Cup. We can come up with more. Which leads us to the question, because uh, you brought a couple of other players here. Perez has never been on the show, and he said he wanted to do this next week. Mm-hmm. You still want to do this? Eh, <laughs> uh, I can take it either or leave it either way. All right, so uh, one away game this week yeah. and a home game Saturday night, 7 o'clock puck drop, teacher appreciation night. Ten dollar tickets, uh, tickets for teachers. Alex, That's good to see you. Good to see you too, Jared. Thanks for coming in. Thank you for having thanks, me. Thanks, Cup. Uh, by the way, we do want to point out no line change show. That's right. Tomorrow night downstairs yeah. because of the pandemonium of 
Capricorn Revival, it's going to be crazy, and you guys need a week off, and you've got family in town. So Yeah, so I guess it works out. Works out well. Everything <laughs> does. Now, works out well. Now, Cup, if you didn't know, we have to play this intro one more time. Yeah, he makes us play this twice. On the way out. Foncoid the Voice. This is actually three times now. Wow. What's the trifecta today? The hat trick. Hat trick. He also plays that at the end of Romantic Interviews. So you got that, too. Here's Los Lobos on the creed.